These red herrings are popping up left and right. They're all secret plots, okay? Like the thing with the the MAGA, with the American Indian, and you had the brother, I think his name is uh, Ephraim. Chief Ephraim, right. And by their secret plots. By their secret plots. And popular persuasions. That's their media. Their media is a popular persuasion. Why? Because most people believe what they see on TV, what they see on the news. I believe it. Don't. Read it again. And by their secret plots and popular persuasions and commotions. They try to stir up a commotion to get people against us. Go ahead. They hindered the finishing of the building all the time that King Cyrus lived. So they were hindered from building for the space of two years until the reign of Darius. Yes, but they're not going to hit the gas. This is going to keep going all the time. Everybody understand that? It's a price to You know what the brother talking about because what he's saying don't mistake it don't mistake it for religion it's not religion right yes sir all pray well you are with that i'm gonna show you that thus saith the lord i'm gonna show you right go to first timothy four real fast four and one four and one that's all i'm gonna that's all i'm gonna bring out and because the, the the point being we're trying to unite all of our people you my brother you understand that representation of whoever that came from is not our brother that's the oppressor. He put our people in chains. You wouldn't be standing here right now, except he came to the coast where you were in Africa and took you. Aside from the rosary, yeah. Y'all don't believe Jesus died on the cross? Yes, he did. For yes, sir. Sins? And that's yes, for our sins. We're going to show you that in the Bible, too. Watch this. Read. This is the book of 1 Timothy, this, chapter 4, verse 1. Yeah. Now the Spirit speaking expressly. Uh -huh. that the Spirit speaking expressly, meaning the Bible. The Spirit is the Bible, right? Meaning it told us something. In the Spirit, the Bible told us what would happen in the future and before we ever existed on the earth. Right? Watch this. That in the latter times, so in the latter times, when this was not even a doctrine on earth, in latter times, come on, some shall depart from the faith. It says some shall depart from the faith. From the faith. Doing what? Giving heed to seducing spirits. Giving heed to seducing spirits. Seducing spirits, meaning what? Those spirits have to tell you, hey, come on in. No, everything is fine. Come as you are. However you want to come, come. Just come, come, come. That's a seducing spirit. Whatever you dealing with, whatever God said, don't do. No, no, no. This seducing spirit would say, no, that's okay. You can do that. Just come on in and you are blessed if you do it. Right. That's seducing to us as people, as humans, as sinful creatures, right? Watch this. And doctrines of devils. It says, and doctrines of who? Devil. Now remember, this doctrine is, the Lord is speaking about a doctrine, which, whereas in you would have to depart or leave the faith, leave the faith in the latter days for a doctrine. Leave the faith, meaning leave what is true, leave what you are, leave what you know, to accept a doctrine of who? Of devil. Of devils. Read on. Speaking lies. Speaking lies and what? In hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is we represent the Bible, but we teach you to go against it. Hmm. That's what the rosary represents. Jesus Christ died on the cross, so now you can do everything he said don't do. Now, he died on the cross for you to do everything he came and didn't do. Jesus Christ did not sin. He had no sin. There right. was no God. Matter of fact, hold that and give me that real fast. Where's that at? Uh, First Peter, Second Peter 4. Where is that at, Coyote? That? 4 and 20. No, Christ in two and twenty, he, leaving us an example. Uh, first Peter two and twenty-one. First Peter two and twenty-one. Watch this. This is the book of First Peter, chapter two, verse twenty-one. So this is this is the example that Jesus left for us. This is the example of faith that we would have to depart from in the latter days, and to take heed to doctrines of devils. Yes. Right. Watch this. Going to twenty-two. This is the book of First Peter, chapter twenty-one. But ever here unto where ye come, because Christ also suffered for us. He suffered for us, like you brought up, right? Watch this. 
leaving us an example. Leaving us a what? An example. An example. So is our example to die? Or is our example what he did while he was before he died on the cross and raised and ascended to, to, the, to the heavens? It's to do what he did on this earth, right? That's no sin. Watch this. That ye should follow his steps. That we should what? Follow his steps. What were the steps of Christ? Read. Who did no sin. So the steps of Christ is to not sin. Right. The Bible says to take heed to the faith and not the doctrines of devils is to walk in the steps of Christ, meaning do no sin. Do no sin. Finish that first John 3 and 4. Neither was gold found in his mouth. Neither was guile found in his mouth. He didn't speak sin. He said he walked no sin. He spoke no sin. He was perfect and upright. That's how it is that he could die on the cross for a, for a nation of people that he hadn't even met yet. Retrospectfully. You understand what I'm saying? Right? Watch this. So what is sin? What is sin? Is it, I, just, I feel mad today, so I'm in sin. I have to stop being mad today. Is it, you know, I really want a candy bar, but it's Lent, so I can't eat a candy bar. Hmm. Is that sin? Let's read what sin is. Come on. This is the book of First John, chapter 3, verse 4. Because that rosary and that image, that idol, represents Lent. It represents, God said you worship him on the, the Sabbath day. It's the last day of the week. But that cross represents the exact hypocrisy of that, which is worship him on the first day of the week. All right. That's what that place teach you. Seventh day is Saturday. Right. The first day is Sunday. Right. But under that doctrine of devils, we learned the exact opposite of what God said. We learned the exact opposite of the steps of Christ. That's right. We learned it. Guess what, bro? I did too. I learned that. I was doing that. And then I picked this book up for myself and read it. The whole world changed after that. Everything was changed after that. Watch this. Whosoever committed sin, whosoever committed sin, meaning accept the doctrine of devils, whosoever don't know to walk in the steps of Christ is in sin. Whosoever committed sin do what? Transgressed also the law. But wait a minute. The rosary represents the law is done away with. Right. Say it again. I'm not standing behind the rosary. So you can stop Good. The rosary. Well, well, I'm just brother. Listen, preaching Christ to me. Brother, listen. We are preaching Christ to you. Christ to you. Christ, so what did Christ say? What's the, he read it in Exodus 22. What did Christ say to you? Christ said, "Do not make unto yourselves any graven images." Especially to bow down to him. Now you might say, I don't do that to it. But if you know your people do, if you know there is a people that respects it to bow down to it, why would you put it on your neck? People also bow to people also bow to the Baphomet symbol, to the Baphomet idol. People also bow to that. Would you put that around your neck? The, it's the devil. It's the representation of the satanic uh, idol. Right. It's the Baphomet symbol, right? People, other pe some people put that around their neck. Some people do that, right? Brother, all we're trying to do is show you idolatry. Come on, watch this. Uh, finish this and then we're going to get the, the, the Wikipedia. Watch this. I'm going to show you, bro. I'm going to show you. Watch this. Come on. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. So we just, re we just read. Listen, bro. We just read to you. Whosoever committed sin transgressed the law. We read for, uh, Exodus. Was he here? He might not have been here when you read that. Okay, so Exodus chapter 22, verse 4 says, We shall not have any idols. God said that. Wait, we don't say that. That's not. We read to you the book. We all prophets. We all prophets. You know why? Because we can understand those things that was written that ain't happened yet. We can teach our brothers and come out here and teach strangers, so-called, right? The things that have not happened yet. We can give warning to our people before the destruction, destruction of the Almighty come. Right. We can do that. So in that, we are the prophets of the Most High God, right? Finish this. Come on. For sin is the transgression of the law. That's what sin is. That's what sin is. So, so to 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 sin, you cannot accept a doctrine that teaches you. Say it again. When I sin, what do I do? Every man sin. Every man sin. So so now, so now. So not right. So what is so what is Christ? So what is Christ? So what is Christ? As it pertains to sin, what is Christ? Christ is salvation. Watch this. Go to um Luke chapter one, verse sixty-eight. Start at verse sixty. I'm gonna show you something about Christ and sin. I'm gonna show you. Come on. Luke chapter one, verse sixty-eight. Come on. This is the book of Luke chapter one, verse sixty-eight. Listen careful. Listen good. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Who is that? Christ. Come on. 
for he had visited and redeemed his people. Christ visited and redeemed his, his, his people, which are Israel, right? Come on. And hath raised up a horn of salvation uh -huh. for us in the house of his servant David. Uh -huh. Has raised up a horn of salvation. That's what we, a lot of times in Christianity you say, I'm saved. Well, guess what? None of us are saved yet until he returns and save us. Right. We can we ain't saving ourselves. Our pastors ain't saving us. Right. We can only keep the commandments of God to be saved when he returns. Right. That's all. So none of us are saved yet. But we are all seeking salvation. And Christ is the way to that salvation when he returns. If we're walking in his footsteps. If we've taken his example. Right. Watch this. As he spake. By the mouth of his holy prophet. As he spake by who? The mouth of his holy prophet. So what the prophet said do, what the prophet said don't do, is who Christ, When you, if, for those who obey the prophets, are those who Christ is coming for. That's, right. That's who he's coming to bring salvation or saving to. Deliverance to. Watch this, come on. Which have been since the world began. Yep, Old Testament too. What they were saying in the Old Testament, we still must do it. Come on. That we should be saved. That we shall be what? Saved. Uh -huh. From our enemy uh -huh. and from the hand of all that hate us. That we shall be saved from our enemy and from the hand of all that hate us. Go to Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. We have to understand what that's talking about. Who is your enemy? Who is your enemy? These are things we don't know. We don't consider these things. Yes, there is both a spiritual and physical manifestation of the enemies that Christ is coming to save us from. And guess what it guess what the spiritual incarnate of our enemy is? Our own self. Called sin. It's called sin. Because you are the reason you went into captivity. Because we sinned is why we went into captivity. Yeah, it was at the hand of another man. Right. But it was only because we failed to sin. We took and accepted doctrines of devils over what Christ and his uh, prophets told us to do. That's how we ended up like this, right? right. Now watch this. Now, you, we read Luke chapter 1 verse 68 that he's going to save us from our enemies, right? And from and from the hand of all that, are, that, are, that, that oppress us, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we just read, right? Now watch this. This is the spiritual, uh, uh, script, this is the spiritual explanation of Luke chapter 1 verse 68 through 71. Come on. This is the book of Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. Come on. And she shall bring forth a son. Uh -huh. This she is Mary, the mother of Christ. Come on. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. You shall call his name Jesus, Mary. Read. For he shall save his people. So now, the Bible is going to tell us what Jesus is actually saving us from. Because we just read that it's our oppressor and who hates us, right? So we think automatically, oh, that's somebody else that treat me bad. But let's see who hate us. Who it is that oppresses us. Really? Come on, watch. For he shall save his people from what? From their sin. From our sins. From our sins. We are our greatest enemy. Right. You know why? Because Christ say don't do and we do. Right. The prophets say don't do and we do. That's how it is that we are still this day in our captivity. Right. Group 3 and 8. That's why. Because God allowed us to fall. Once upon a time we were gods on this earth. Right. That's right. Once upon a time. The natives ruled this land. They, they call them natives, right? Once upon a time, they ruled this land. Once upon a time, the Taino people ruled the, the, the islands of Hispaniola. Now, how is it that we are suffering in the lands that we once ruled? Right. We suffer here. We killed in the worst ways, in the most inhumane ways in the lands that we once ruled. How has that happened? How? Because we left off from keeping the laws of God. That's we right. left off from that. We departed from the faith and took heed to doctrines of devils that allow us to sin and tell us you okay if you sin. Come on. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Come on. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. The word reproach means hate. Who hates us? Yeah, our enemy hates us. But before they hated us, God hated us. God hates us. When we are in sin, he don't love the sinner and hate the sin. Right. He hates both the sinner and the sin. Right. That's how God feels. Give me that. Where's that at? Uh, give me Psalms 5 and 5. Give me Psalms 5 and 5. I'm going to show you that. God is not okay with any one of us if we are not walking in his commandments, in his laws. If his laws say no idols, brother, we got to take that off because God said so. 
We have to, and guess what else we gotta do, bro? You a priest, you have to teach other people who once thought the same thing was right, you have to teach against that. You have to teach them, no, bro, I thought that was the way too. That ain't the way, that ain't it, bro. We, we, we are greater people than that. That's not where we come from. We have to teach that. We gotta teach it. Watch this, come on. This is the book of Psalms, chapter five, verse five. This is for Bring anybody up. who believes that God hates you. I mean, that God loves you, loves you, but hates your sin. This is for anybody to think God gonna accept you however you come to him. Come on. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. The Bible says the foolish shall not stand in the Lord's sight. Meaning when we go to pray, if we foolish, if we are not keeping his commandments, he ain't dealing with us. Right. We are not, our prayers do not come before the Most High if we are not keeping his laws. That's, right. That's how it is that we always in the streets praying for our babies. Lord Jesus, why? Why am I back? That's why. And then tomorrow the same thing gonna happen. And the day after that. And the day after that. And the day after that. That's how we die. Hold on, let me finish this verse. So rock what? 12 and 6. 12 and 6. Come on, watch this. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. What's iniquity? Sin. God hates all workers of sin. All workers of sin God hate. Come on. That in on that? Yes, sir. Let's 12, go to Sirach 12 and 23. 12 and 6. 12 and 6. Go to Sirach chapter 12, verse 6. Watch this. What, yeah, you had a question. What's your question? He ain't give me that. Give me that. What's that? John? John 931. Give me that. Watch this. The Bible say God don't hear sinners. He say that. Let me tell you this. I'm a sinner. Me too. I prayed off counsel. I'm a sinner. Yeah. I've touched the person and healed them. I'm a sinner. And I've took the pain away from people. I got an oil all in my car. So I'm so a I'm, sinner. That's good. But you have to learn what all of that means. Because right now, only thing you can associate with is that that with is a doctrine of devils. So you think that now that power that you had to heal somebody or that power that God listened to you with rep was represented by that cross. No. And guess what? Guess what, bro? You ain't read in the in the Bible that the devil gives blessings to? Right. You ain't read that? That's real. That's right. That's real. So if we ain't keeping the laws of God and we still somehow blessed, ain't ain't Gucci Mane them blessed? Ain't Future blessed? Blind ain't all day. these niggas selling our people dope blessed? That's right. They ain't riding nice. They ain't able to go pay a doctor to get the cancer uh, treatment. They ain't able to fix their teeth. They ain't able to pay for the mama house. Devils, devils bless devils, brother. Right. Make no mistake. Right. And it's a war going on for your soul. That's right. A war. A war going yeah. on for your soul. So what that look? So what that look like? The devil ain't gonna come tell you. Hey, listen, I'm your enemy. I'm about to jack you up out here. No, the devil gonna come with a bit, with a, a bag full of money. The devil gonna come with yeah yeah. Take the take the. Matter of fact, you remember you remember you seen the movie Constantine? You, hold on, you seen Constantine the movie? What, listen, what happened in Constantine? He didn't want the devil wanted Constantine so bad. What did he do to him at the end? Constantine was about to have grace with God, right? But the devil wanted him so bad, he said, no, I'm going to put you, I'm going to leave, I want your ass still, in, I want you to stay in captivity. I want you to stay right here where I got you. So he went, put his hand in Constantine and pulled the cancer out of him that he was dying from. He, the devil blessed Constantine. The devil blessed him. The devil gave him the surgery. The devil took the cancer, removed the cancer. That's a perfect illustration of what we read in the Bible. That's right. The yeah. devil will bless us if we obey him. The, the difference is, is the difference is devil won't give you eternal life. That's right. That's, right. That's the difference. God will give you eternal life. Right. So whatever you whatever you uh, uh, the devil however the devil bless you with here, make no mistake. There's a there's a stark contrast between that and eternal life. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.